That got louder. Make sure it's not. Yeah, the sudden touch. What? Yeah, that's right. I mean, no. <laughs> you stole my name in my house. What? We're back with pay-per-view part four. I guess. Technically. Three. Four. We have got the Intercontinental Championship on the line. I'm sorry. The Intercontinental Championship. I can't. Ben Balor won the Intercontinental title from Roger Strong. Drew McIntyre won a number one contender yeah. battle royal. Do you know where the power lies? Was no, Rhino. Rhino? Yes, was Rhino. Rhino was in that number one contender's battle royal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he lost. It was Rusev, Drew McIntyre, Big Show Kane, Roddy Piper, Stone Cold, Noam Dar, and Rhino. One. No am Dar. No am War is Dar, a former Intercontinental Champion in a different universe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah. McIntyre. You. I've turned away, so all you saw was the EW. You. McIntyre. Who's that one fan not very happy to see McIntyre. That fan being the guy who controls the Titan Tron. I was gonna say, someone's at the top of the house. This man is a real Shawn Michaels. Uh, Drew, you there? There you are. He's on top of the house. He fucking headbutted somebody in the Rusev in the back of the head. Yeah. Before eliminating him, and it was disgusting. And now he wants a headbutt fin. Finn might like that. When you put it like that, Finn would like it. It sounds like you want to get headbutt in the back of the head even if you're a fag. Like, gonna I'm gonna take that title and spank your girl. I saw my Kathy Kelly. Drew McIntyre is gonna fuck Kathy Kelly and Sonya Deville and Carl Anderson's wife. Yeah, he's a part of the gay community. The gay club. Who may have who may have another member coming in soon. I only have words. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre. He's like, come the fuck on, little bitches. McIntyre laser focused. Dude's like, no. No, he's not a demon tonight. I was saying, you better not be. It's not even that big of a match. Well, it's not that big of a show. It's not. It's just pay per view. It's coming out of the house. Where else would he be? Oh my god. Where else would he appear from? No, I'm in the smoke. And Finn just walked through the fire. He's like, I'm a fireman. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get a Finn Balor a fireman's gimmick now. Uh. <laughs> Finn decided not to bring out the demon tonight. He said Drew McIntyre is a worth the demon. Drew McIntyre said, I'm gonna break your head <laughs> using my head and take that title. Using my head? I do too. Look at that nice shiny title. No. But I would just waste more fuel. But it don't burn me, because then I'll be racing the fuel. And that would take more fuel to be able to burn a human. 
stronger and more dangerous than the title every single week. We'd be worried about burning, burning people's houses down. Ah! Oh. It is. I only blame Brad for everything that's gone bad here. Yeah. Because Mike's muted. Do 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 do. Look at that stupid smiling fucker. Looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor. Look no further than Finn Balor. I was gonna say, isn't the it factor Bobby Roode? Yeah, but he lost on Bradshaw. Six. He's had eight title matches. Six have retained. Two have lost. Changes. Yes, sir. Drew McIntyre wants to make us three title changes. Finn Balor says, "Meh." Introducing the champion. Say words. From Bray, County Wicklow. From Bray Wyatt's Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor. Why is he from Bray County? Uh, I'm not Towards sure. County Bray. I'm gonna go watch us from New York in the United States. And we're under Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be any the record is no air Scotland. Mm. All one word. What? <laughs> two places. Watching these guys compete. Finn try to get a quick start against Drew McIntyre. Drew countered it. Finn Drew McIntyre doesn't know his own location in geography. Oh, one word. Scotland's just one place on the map. Maybe it is. <laughs> How many Scotlands have you been to? All of them. All right. This ain't gonna go well if this match continues like this. Oh, man! Oh, but Drew. Oh, but Finn. He wants to do this no, oh, but Drew. Drew McIntyre bringing Finn Balor back in the ring. He's just so much bigger, so much stronger. That old Finn's gonna have to try to use his speed. God damn. This is shades of Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar. This is shades of any big guy versus any little guy, man. Yeah. Confident, mysterious, and yes, yeah, a bit demonic. Finn Balor. After all, we're yes, Finn Balor. Over the top rope like Finn Balor. He's been doing just enough to get some breathing space from Drew McIntyre. He said that he's going to need to use his quickness. Sling Blade. What? <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> Well, that's probably a move. That's how he often battle wants his moves to go. Take less than Drew. There's a quiet, cool confidence about Finn Balor. There's a mystery to this man. Yes. Who's been a champion everywhere he's competed. If anyone can relate to those things, holy shit, he beat Kurt Angle. What? He's going for that headbutt already. Now he's stomping on the head. This head based offense. Oh, Don't you ever spin at Drew McIntyre. So he spun at Drew McIntyre. No, he spun at Drew McIntyre. Stop him from spinning. And climb into the middle rope. Like Finn Balor. Off the middle rope. Oh, no. There's nobody in the pool. Nobody is in a pool. What a sad pool. That pool is empty. I bet Colin's pool's empty right now. Because it's winter. Tossing Finn one more time. Hear me roar. Finn working the head of Drew McIntyre so he can't headbutt. It is actually. He may be gay, but he's also bright. 
Nope. Well, I guess I wasn't a stereotype of gays or dumb. There's the stereotypes are the very feminine men, fashionable. I don't know any other ones. Or maybe not very smart if you got roll if you got fucking eight, bitch. What? Get eight, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your dreams. I'm gonna eat your children. Where's golf in my tummy? I'm gonna retain. This got chopped. Like he's fighting Charlotte Flair. Not again. Like he's a fucking madman. By trying to stomp on him and eating his friend Dolph Ziggler. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. He's too quick for him there. Oh, nice DDT by Finn. DDT. Finn's gonna have to hit these quick offensive moves to try to hang in there with that big fucking brute. Drew. That big brute Drew. Big brute Drew. We can need a head again. Look at. Finn may have a hurt body, but Drew's got a hurt head. But b both of these Chelsea's finishers sort of target the opposite part on each other. Drew targets the head and Finn targets the body. Not again. McIntyre made a great comeback to NXT. Now he's going to need another comeback right now. Oh, good God. White noise from the top rope. Middle rope. Rolling thunder. Not rolling thunder. Oh, good God, no. Claymore. Claymore kick. So are we going to have a new Intercontinental Champion? We are. Drew McIntyre has made it three title changes tonight. Samoa Joe Saffron's and now Drew McIntyre. It has been. It's been tried to fight, but you just can't stop Drew McIntyre. Nope, the French Scotsman, Drew McIntyre. How long will he dominate the mid card scene? Possibly just to water under the bridge. Up next, we got your tag title match. Yep, one of the champions. Yeah. Are we Cesaro and Ono, or are we Gallagher and Bulldog? All right. Tag Team Championships on the line. The champions who don't really get along with each other. Not at all. And the challengers who get along pretty well. Hey, what the? That's not what I meant to hit. <laughs> In your house. In your salad. Champion. You fucking <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I hate you! I hate you too! The titles oh. are on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get lied to by this screen. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw me changing the arena, why wouldn't I do the rest? I don't know. Trish is laughing at our stupidity, but that stupid bitch got beat tonight. Yes, she did by Sonya Deville. So I don't know why the fuck she's laughing. Because she hates us. I hate her. <laughs> My favorite woman's wrestler of all time. I hate her. She can get down all she wants. Ain't that right, Bulldog? <laughs> 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 I do like that opening scene of Bulldog. Looking at his bicep. One well, if you were as big as a bulldog, you would look at your bicep From too. Manchester, Where's this going? England. I think it's about to be a Weighing highlight reel. At 256 pounds, <laughs> the British Bulldog. Ooh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Come on, bro. Try it, bro. He tried it. <laughs> Would you stop ducking me? 
Crucifix driver to cash its own on the ram. Oh, man. This is it. Tag team action underway right. here, guys. Tag titles are on the line. Despite the fact that the champions didn't get an end because they jumped the challengers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but Cash it's all looks a little more serious right now. He just apron and power bomb Jack Gallagher. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> I'll beat you up! Oh Another two versus two versus one. <laughs> or two versus one versus two. I don't know numbers. Power slam already. The referee's like, I don't like how that ball man treats my fat brother. They must find a way back to their corner to tag their opponent. <laughs> that they he stared him down and Cesaro fell over in fear. Them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. He's going for it. Oh, Cesaro. Cesaro knows all I almost said. Yes. Since they've never had a team name in the past, these two, that's what they will be called. The Zolno, the tag team champions, Gallagher and Bulldog. Gallagher dogs. Her dogs. Is to create that separation you spoke of, so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. If he finishes with enough time, uh, before I have to pick up Paul, especially if we get the money and we gotta put a duty exchange, you just want to go to the mall after that for a bit. your opponents could have. Maybe the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Maybe even more. What the fuck, my arm? Really needs a strategy. He just likes to uppercut people in the mouth. Why, is, why does Michael Cole said that? <laughs> like Michael Cole fucking calling spots like a bitch. Come on, you haven't let Ono run wild. Corey spoke to how Cesaro can defeat his opponent. The Swiss Superman brings brutality. If you fell for this once, don't fall for it again. Uppercuts his opponent needs to watch out for. There are many superstars who have been caught by a Cesaro uppercut. We know that Cesaro puts all his strength behind each shot. The strongest strikes in WWE. Oh my god. No! Now that I proved my war, oh, tag, fuck! I'll prove it again. The ref doesn't even dare count me after what I did to him. I wish the ref just won five. This ball of five. Says, oh no, a famous tag move. Says, oh no. Says, oh, oh fuck. I love you. <laughs> You're a rock. You're barking up the wrong tree. I get it because Bulldog's a dog and Gallagher's a tree. <laughs> I'm back up. You can't hold the back test. I don't know. Foam future world champion of this brand. Oh, fuck yeah. Watch this bitch. Oh, shit. Nah, nah, fuck. Oh, yeah, that's why he's Burger King. But I get a one he's employee. And in development, we'll have McDonald's. Oh. Oh no, KFC's gonna make it run God damn. We gotta get to KFC too at some point eventually. You can't crawl that far away from me. I should also point out that the move in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated. What the hell is this? 
In a tag match what? With a superstar tag the is up, the is on the break, bro. I'm so dizzy and fat. Oh, I hate you. Oh, my God. I hate you. Bro, you've been beat down more than I have. Stop yelling your Swiss shit at me. Okay, Bulldog. You want to go? You're my bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Bruh, it's all going to work out in the end. We're going to retain. See, see that boot? Okay, S Cesarno. Cesarno. Wait, no, Cesarno tag move. Stop dancing, you. Ah! Smackdown Tag Team Champions. Because you would have taken too long. You're terrible. I missed. Uh, uh, Rhino and Jimmy Uso. On Wars Raw. You tell him, Corey. Smackdown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The I don't know if I believe that's an amazing match. So tense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. British Bulldog making his move. Military press slam. Just when you thought he had No, that's a signature. The night could be over for... We got a cover. Absolutely incredible. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the whole game committee very treacherous. That was until Carmella's overconfidence that the Irish last turn the tide. Try that shit again. Try it again. Yeah. Count me. Count me. Count me. Cesaro is in. What an uppercut. Turn out the lights, guys. Cesaro's your winner. Cesaro is in position. Oh, kicked out her ass. Get up, bitch. See what happens. Get up. Try it. Get your ass back. <laughs> Get your ass. <laughs> Go quick for the pin. <laughs> Well, put him anyway. You can still do. He doesn't see that coming. We retain. Best tag team ever. Seamus. Cesaro's now crying. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. We've got the last non-title match before this remain event. It's Lars Sullivan's last match. Oh man. You can be Lars. I was gonna say if it's not <laughs> Lars Sullivan versus Rey Mysterio. Tanning in his two weeks notice two weeks ago. It's uh it's like You gotta so fight Rey Mysterio. He's like Fine. We have been confirmed that Lars Sullivan has had interest in going to the Beatdown brand. In your house. Lars Sullivan's in your house. Oh no! That's not, that's not what I want to hear actually. Guess it is. <laughs> Imagine if you hear Lars Sullivan's in your house. He's just downstairs making himself some oatmeal. Why? I eat oatmeal a lot. Wearing his yellow shirt. Looking like, looking like Sasquatch in that scene. Yes. Where Aleister Black was in, was just laid out. Bowling Green. Huh, I like bowling. I like green. <laughs> but no one likes Kentucky. No one. The biggest little man in WWE history. Very Mysterio was in a number one contenders match for this title after beating Randy Orton. But Kurt Angle won that number one contenders match. So Rey Mysterio said, I'll fight Lars Sullivan. I don't give a fuck. He's a big bitch. I'm a future Hall of Famer. I've men bigger. I've had men smaller. 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> you don't know every health show? I beat The Undertaker, who's beat The Rock. And by transitional math, I'm better. I've beaten Kurt Angle, who's beaten The Rock. I'm better. You're lying to your. Where the fuck is the Dwayne on this show? Where's the Dwayne? He ain't here. You know who's here? Ray Ray. Ray Ray. I'm gonna squash this big fucking Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah, hit yourself because they're so ugly. <laughs> Lars S. What the fuck? Oh, Sullivan? Oh, you're so clever. You know what? You are a Sullivan. You're that big fucking unintimidating monster from Monster Inc. You can call me M Wazowski. Wazowski? <laughs> Wazowski. I think I call me Mikey. Whipwreck. Sullivan. Everything about the mountain man from Denver is huge. Terrifying. Mm, huge. Terrifying. Except your dick because it's so small. The only way you can get girls to suck it is offering them free tickets. They would never do that on their own. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they would. Fucking loser. Please shave your chest, you unattractive geek. Are you such a hater? I see you. No, I see you. Stop. I'm such a hater. No, fuck. I need you off my show. Yeah, get dropped, bitch. Oh, what a tough big guy you are. Look, you ain't even that big. You're only like a, a few inches taller. Drop down. Drop down. Drop up. Nice. Oh, you think that's gonna affect Ray Mysterio? I'm so quick. You a little bitch. You get sent off Brad. Show us a lot. We have a War Raiders do that together, and they'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> this is a hater. <laughs> <on my own. laughs> I, you look like you got fit in with those geeks. I am a world champion. He beat the world champion. The only oh, man Lars Sullivan ever beat is Rikishi. What? That's the only man the Lars has beaten in this universe. No, you're right, he's gonna be the next one in a category with Sting, of men who's beaten Lars Sullivan. I am a great. You would have to work so hard to get on my level in fame in this business. Who? Your Uncle Marty Janetti? Because that's what you are. I was such a beauty, they even made up rumors that I was dating Jennifer Aniston because it was so believable. You could only date Rosie O'Donnell. You are Rosie O'Donnell. If Ray loses, every Mexican on the show would have lost tonight. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're going with the rest of those dudes back to Taco Bell and beat down. It's Bradshaw. 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 Bradshaw for Bradshaw. <laughs> oh no, say the Daniel Bryan. Don't you? You're just Daniel Bryan. I'm just Brad Lesnar. Guys, he's gonna have to turn things around quickly if you want. No, he's not. The young got them Daniel. Love you. No, suck it. Yeah, well, at least I have a son. You know. Yeah. Look at you. I'm. What? A what? New champ. There's an old title on the line. This is either a winner leaves Bradshaw or stays on Bradshaw. That's his Hayden speech. Rock your neck! Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Fight me! And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Alright, I just had I just got a text. We got an update. We'll spoil it later. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. 
He's really starting to look fatigued here, what, guys. What, what? When that happens, Ooh. your whole body starts to get I hit you him. and your He's nephew. Because that's the only kid that you all have in your family, cause no your family because no one's going to want to fuck you. Pretty at this point. They don't even fuck you. They just suck your dick. No girl actually wants you inside of them, Lars. You'll never be a nostalgic act. You'll never get that over with the crowd. They won't want you back once you retire. So was, I was organically made in the last generation. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> nah, that was just it. that was just innovative. I was just an innovator. You an in a faker. I innovate, you fake. I'm the man, you the bitch. Yeah! Get his face again! Get his face again! How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this Looks like someone hit the ugly button. Ooh. And we're back to this form of attack. I was born in America. Yeah, we were born in San Diego. I ain't no problem in America. You can never be as good as any other big man. See if he takes the bait. He wants no part of this. When this guy's on, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You know who you remind me of? Mike Knox. You know who you remind me of? Some car. A team goes there. That makes sense. I can do it right now. I'm over. Yeah. We're over the Mike Knox. Wow, that's the lowest standard of anything I've ever heard in my life. Oh my goodness. It might You're be cliche, but it's true here. You gotta get a free taxi. Oh, oh, look at me. Oh, look at you. Oh, look that's at me. You're a real finisher. Oh, we take up that mask. You're just a real finisher. Just put the exclamation point on this match. But he's running the cubes here. You a bitch. Go to a different show. We don't even want you on this show no more. Yeah, they do. Oh, bitch. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, really? No, it ain't. Okay. Ray thought he hit RT in time. Get dropped, bitch. Soldier boy up in the soul. Watch him Ray, watch him go. Ah shit. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. I don't see shit cry, baby. Yeah, they want Ray to fight back. Look out! Stupid ass, big ass motherfucking bitch! He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. How would I fake? You fake emotion. This is for Eddie. Fake emotion. Fake emotion. To go Lars Sullivan never shown any emotion in his life. He doesn't need to! That one hits his chin. Exactly! He doesn't need to show emotion! Just a step oh. it looks like. Uh oh. I'm so terrified of Rey Mysterio. Whatever he's got playing up his little he's ass. You should be. No! I'm not! Well, you just said you were. Me. I'm not smart to him! What? <laughs> that was fun. Ross just that smart. He's got the wrestling skill. Ross Sullivan may have just surprised me Mysterio there with some of that rolling. Us commentators, we haven't been talking much because the wrestlers haven't taken it away. And they've just been shouting this entire match. Ray Mysterio looking for something big. Last drop, Lars Hulk. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Are you sure you're not going to fake this hooky? Another glass jaw. You know what else you have? What? A weird beard. What? A weird beard. Weird beard. Weird beard. Ray Mysterio looking for something big. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh. I don't know what that means. 
Die! At this point, you're so for the Die! <laughs> <laughs> That's his act of me. Bar Sullivan for president. Oh, okay. Die. Die. Yeah! He's gonna fight Rusev when he gets on my show. Is Rusev on your show? I don't no, know. he got headbutted in back of the head by Drew. He's on my show. He had two matches. That's his fault. So two matches. Lars Sullivan literally reached a breaking point in two weeks period. He has no fucking patience. I can't wait till it, after two weeks when he's not the world champion, he walks out on your show. <laughs> and then after two weeks, he walks out on my show. Yes. And he wins a world title on his first night there. The Law of Sullivan, the only man who knows about the other dimension on YouTube. The other universe here, he is a world champion. Yeah, he knows he belongs. What a These fight this has been. Wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. It's Kabuki. No, he reverses it. Mike Knox. His chest may be black and blue after this. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. So just a... <laughs> I'll never change. Whoa! Did you see know. how talent I am? See how. She just said, you see how I said, do you see? Given their performance, Must. it's too bad one of these superstars has the right to clear on the lose again. Now I clear my throat. Ow. 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 Ooch. Uchi. Uchi Garoshi. And set him up unleashing it for the second time now. Lars, 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 Lars. Shade to Brock Lesnar. Lars wants to fight that man. Oh, he's able to reverse it. In the knee oh. connects. Look out, the there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. Oh, I was going to say, how kind of freak stand was out of leg, but freak still needs legs. He's now using that leg to beat on Rey Mysterio. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Rey still trying to fight. Nobody controls the pace uh. of a match quite like this guy. Toss him like a little sack of shit. That's quite an academic statement. He's an academic Oh my god. Now it's time to capitalize. Holy shit, Ray's dead. Good. Ray's chest may be cracked in two. You know who you are, but you don't know why you're freak accident. Is he gonna get a win going into beat down? I'm not gonna use RC twice. Lars Sullivan picked up the win. <laughs> I know. Michael Cole really likes Lars Sullivan apparently. Well, Lars Sullivan's getting a big win. He's now two and one in this Coffin's career. Beating Rikishi and Rey Mysterio, only losing a sting. We're starting to three main events. We start off with a War Is Raw Championship. You can be the Undertaker. I've been running crazy as the other guy. Rude. This is an old. Nah, it has to be the one who's a champion. Yeah. Main event. This is a awesome main event in my heart. This is three main events. Let's look at the win record of everyone involved in this main event. Rick Rude 
On week one, he beat Mustafa Ali. On week two, week two. <laughs> on week two, he beat Kalisto. On week three, he beat Batista and Harper to become the number one contender. Rick Rouge, three and all. Undertaker on week one beat Adam Cole. On week two, him and the gay community lost to the Undisputed Era. And on week three, he lost to Batista. One and two, the Undertaker. <laughs> My world champion, one and two. Rick, my challenger is three and all. Rick Rude can go four and all. Undertaker can go two and two. Championship. Hey, be careful not to change the channel because he may be over on Nitro too. He may be over on Beatdown too, but this is a pay per view. Shut up. <laughs> Could be. Dean Ambrose was on a beatdown match and almost became an number one contender. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was good. It was good. Appearances can be deceiving, but do not be fooled despite the ravishing one's look. He's a man. A human being. Once upon a time, I'm a man. <laughs> what I like go around this point. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got a little. little inner city sweat I wasn't born in a city. I don't consider myself very ugly. Yeah. You too, Damien. Take note, Saxton. With your big nose. And your bigger gut. Tell you what, if I had a girlfriend, I would not even allow her to look in the direction of ravishing Rick Rude. Hello. Good, how are you? No, I saw it, I just didn't respond. I'm at Jordan's right now. Alright, so I'll see you about the seven, three and ten. Yep. Alright, thanks. Yep, bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. We keep getting guest calls for pay-per-view. They're calling the hotline. Why is me Mark Collins on the TV? With a belt from the future. Future. Undertaker needs to get his fucking shit together. The kind of a loser ass bitch. Doesn't look like a big enough arena to hold that fire. The entire place is gonna burn down in hell. I can't the imagine video. what it must be like to be inside the ring. Uh, the Smackdown one the kickoff show. Why? I didn't see the video. Oh. Well, we'll find out later. I did wonder that also. I heard rumors that the agents messed up and Team Raw was supposed to win. But the agents got the finish wrong and turned the, told the talent wrong. Which, I'm glad they did, because Team SmackDown was better. Yeah. Very blue was that man. And punching holes. <laughs> yeah, Rick Rude should be known as the ultimate hole. Whoever in his hips for all the ladies. Putting their faces on his dick and ass. But Undertaker, deep down, does have respect for Rick Rude. Undertaker hates the youngsters. Rick Rude, even older than him. You've been a loser on this show. But Undertaker doesn't care about losses and wins. I guess. I mean, he, he must have known he was going to lose that 8-man tag. If you remember, he never tagged in. He was just fine losing it. He didn't want to be there that night. I 
have lost to Batista as one of his greatest rivals. To becoming the next victim of The Undertaker. Introducing the challenger from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 250 pounds, Ravishing Rick Boone. What a ravishing man. <laughs> What a ravishing taunt. Introducing the champion. Yes. I hope Undertaker does a generic taunt. I think he does. He is the WWE Undisputed Champion, The Undertaker. It's actually called a War is Raw. <laughs> oh. Undertaker is hating this run on War is Raw, and I don't know why. Maybe, you know what, maybe if you would stop losing, then you would feel better about yourself. I don't know. Man, you may be my favorite of all time, but you acted like a bitch in this run. Singles you lose and you pout. And in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's take a punch. Well, Rick Rude's been a man. Undertaker has been off his game in this universe. Rick Rude's been very on his game in this run. This is all a game. Body shot to that ravishing body. <laughs> That's his problem. You know who's been the hardest working man on this pay-per-view? That ref has not had a single break. All the other referees missed their flight. All the other referees beat up the flight attendants. The whack ref took his own private jet that we bought him. That's how you wear down your opponent. <laughs> yeah. It's a white jet. It's a white jet with a big imprint of his black face on the side. And it's all because Alexa Bliss was racist. Hey, whatever works. The crew getting the owner take out the ring. Whoa. And he lands a savage elbow. Maybe Recruit should have actually hit the Undertaker when he got in. But like I said, these two men probably do respect each other. Rick Rue getting the better of the Undertaker, though. Outsmarting him. Little whiny complaining Undertaker. Still complaining. The war is raw fans, Undertaker. What have they ever done for me? Nothing. Whoa! 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 What the? Whoa! Get the frick room! <laughs> you call yourself the master of fucking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the master of fucking stuff. He's too quick for him there. Rick Rude just seems to be on the Undertaker's number. Sit down. No. <laughs> you call yourself the master. You fucking stuff. Undertaker loves his guitar solos. Oh. Pulling him down by his hair like he's a bitch. <laughs> Bro, you what I want to get your hair pulled down. This is going to be big. You a girl. I get all the girls. You only got one. Fuck you, look at this shit. Oh, I know what's real. No, you don't. He wants no part of the So are you. I don't know what you're trying to prove. 
Nah, you're not. You're dead. So am I. That's why I'm in the ring. Fighting you. Well, then why am I here? I'm right here in front of you. You're here because I told you you were going to be here. You're here in my house. In my yard. <laughs> Leg drop? What the fuck, Michael? All the spots. It is clear. Rick Wood is feeling the pure physicality of this match. Booty! Booty! Rick Wood moving out the way of the leg drop. Undertaker drip drop, and he got his knee chopped. Tank reaches empty first. How can you tune some a man if you can't even stand? So I'll rake your back. That'll leave a mark on your back. Not much more can be endured, I think, here for Undertaker. He may not even know where he's at at this point, which is not a good look. So did you. The damage has been done, guys. Who's a real dead man in this match? From this beating he's taken. Who has more powers from the other side? Undertaker connecting there with a good shot. Rick Rude busted open. Undertaker throwing hits from hell. He's making a statement here with this Never piss off Taker. Is it better to be pissed off or pissed on? Ask Drake Maverick. <laughs> or HBK. I don't know. Body shots. I'm a cowboy. I just want to play Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Dude! Give me that wrist. Well, it sounds like he... Playing video games, he's going more to the young man side that he claims to hate. Rick Rude saw that coming from The Undertaker. He saw him trading his soul in for video games. Vaping. Undertaker's becoming a millennial. Don't you ever throw your hand up at me like that shit again. I'm gonna talk about pile drivers. Pile driver. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. You're afraid of yourself. I am, because I'm too ravishing. Man, that's what everyone says about you. Nah, I'm wrong. You're just a stupid old ugly man. You don't even know how to count to 56. You can't spell. Do it. S-I-X, 56. Nah, it's S-Y-X-X. What? I hate you. It's 56, Pac. I hate you, that's Pac. Oh, that's Pac's fault. That's how you wear down your opponent. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure if you go back to the first universe in 2K16, my first world title match was X-Pac versus Farouk versus The Undertaker. A weird time. Should have been. If it wasn't for the other two, that would have been one straight universe mold at this point. You missed. I didn't miss. I was just throwing you old school. I was just throwing you old. Like an old school man does. While the medical staff might say otherwise, this superstar's injury isn't even worth mentioning. At least that's what this superstar told me prior Undertaker to the match. Undertaker cutting his own throat like a weirdo. He just exposed his tits right in the ref's face. Undertaker is going to retain the championship. Undertaker is still the undisputed champion, moving his record to an impressive 2-2. Two two. We've got some time to take another look at Rick Rude put up a fight, but the Undertaker still the champ. Maybe this is Undertaker's gimmick. He's only going to win with the titles on the line. A, part of a legendary performance. Well, Adam Cole will beat Titus O'Neil tomorrow night. Is fighting Batista, who beat the Undertaker in the number one contenders match for Water Under the Bridge. Undertaker's eyes are fighting Batista or Adam Cole at Water Under the Bridge. Undisputed Era said, fuck your taunt. We don't see it. They cut the feed. Up next. Shut up. <laughs> you have a match against Edge tomorrow. Shut up. What did I just tell you? <laughs> uh, 
Up next, we got the Beatdown Championship as Daniel Bryan takes on Christian. That's an unusual time. And I like UB Taker. This is an unusual pay per view. Oh. Oh, he looks so mad. Yeah. Now, we'll look back at the win loss record of the men in this match. Yeah. Christian beat Roman Reigns, going 1 0, because Shane McMahon froze Roman Reigns in place. Yeah. The next week. Christian managed Triple H. The past week, Christian managed Shane McMahon. Christian going into this match 1-0. Yeah. Daniel Bryan was not on the first week. Was not on the second week. Yes. P beat Triple H and John Cena. So he's also 1-0. Yeah. One of these men is going to have their undefeated streak broken. Of 1-0. <laughs> All day, all night. Brian looks so fucking big in that pose. Yeah, he got, he got angry. He got angry, so he got bigger. That's how he fought. That's how he was able to fight Brock. Well, the we're in Omaha, Nebraska. A big city for a big call. fight. And it's for the WWE Championship. What? <laughs> Loser, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're gonna say something. You just don't say anything. That's how he said. He does. He's mean. He knows he's serious. This is Cesaro's name on it. <laughs> well, Cesaro was on the same show. Maybe they'll be forming a faction. I mean, it's all in 2018. Yeah. Daniel Bryan so proud of the fact that he didn't have that's a midget in the crowd because that's not a little girl promotion he became a star because he earned his way and he earned the respect when you talk about two men fighting for a world title you look and you talk about a man one and all and then you talk about his other opponent one and all the title the streaks so much on the line. Triple H is fighting one of these two men at water under the bridge. Triple H versus Daniel Bryan happened at WrestleMania 30 oh, four years ago. Could never really happen. It probably happened like on a SmackDown in 02 or 01. But it could happen in one month time at water under the bridge. I'm happy with either outcome. Christian saw the Undertaker retain. He's like, I don't want to be a first world champion to lose my title. Because the world champions in theory are held in a higher regard. The mid-card titles, the tag titles, they can change hands in the first month. Really in like the first two weeks. But in the first month. If you're the world champion, technically the highest guy in the card, and you lose the title in a month, that ain't saying much about you. Yeah. One of the men who revolutionized the How oh, Christian just gets running knee that loses. Yeah. Many months yeah, of his career. These are anymore. these are two sneaky, cheating, maniacal men. <laughs> You're gonna try to out sneak and maniacal each other. <laughs> By one word for the day, Brian and Christian. <laughs> yes. Because Christian completely reeks of it. Yeah, well, your friend's fighting Braun Strowman tomorrow. He's like, I'm a champion. I feel like Christian still wins in that sense. And it's like, yeah, and just fighting Braun Strowman. No, I was saying that as in his friend's going to get his ass kicked. People are going crazy. You mean Christian cares? Yes. They were just on ride along together with Liv Morgan. <laughs> no, it was Liv because of the, the two other ones right down there. It could have been. The challenger from Aberdeen, Washington, this is a happening. At 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> but Christian's like, fuck you, I'm a heel too. 
The sea by my eyes. Introducing the champion. Holy shit, he looks. <laughs> what is he squinting at? <laughs> He's like, I'm a heel. We all here. <laughs> Where the faces are? It's like Christian's contemplating that right now. He's like, where all? And the winner is fighting Triple H next month. <laughs> Or main event is just heels. heels and Roman. Yeah, I guess Cena tried this. Yeah, I can't wait for a Cena to turn heel. <laughs> Each of these competitors looks to gain momentum with a win tonight. Whoever gets the early advantage could take this thing. Well, I have retained a title. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Back in the ring again. And a savage clothesline. Daniel Bryan sank. set now. <laughs> Christian ran out the ring on his own last time. Daniel Bryan clotheslined him this time. Son of a bitch. Christian just We've fucking pissed off, massive, grabbing a chair. Long-term injuries with a newfound passion. And that's certainly been the case with Daniel Bryan's return to action in 2018. Michael Cole, you ain't kidding. His return match at WrestleMania saw Brian and Shane McMahon permanently derailed. Whoa. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Oh. Christian swinging wildly at everyone. <laughs> That's what he's got to do. Nightmare by Deep Deep Fried. Deep Fried Deep Fried. You and Michael mentioned Daniel Bryan's newfound passion in 2018. We really saw Brian's You got a passion. At the greatest Royal Rumble. Well, he broke Rey Mysterio's record. <laughs> Rey Mysterio lost two matches ago. Oh, Chris. Neck broken. Christian knows that Daniel Bryan's got a fucked up neck, but so does Christian. Mostly when I messed up heads. Perfectly executed. Same heels with messed up heads. Yes. I knew this match was good for some reason. No wonder they're both heels. They both have such good morals, usually, but their heads are so fucked up. Yeah. Uh oh. Daniel obviously going to want to try to win a championship, but he gets kneed in the head as he's choking out Christian's head. What? Well, then we'll just have to change him. Oh, look at Christian trying to retain the title at any means necessary. I was about to go, whatever. <laughs> Hey, this match has gone longer than that. Exuberant celebrations that he also started winning titles and earning main event slots. Daniel Bryan having some issues. Whatever. He lands his head. Oh man! Byron brought up Daniel Bryan's celebrations, capturing the Daniel Bryan throwing wild ass kicks. But it's more than just easy to chant words. Neckbreaker. Passion for competition when he would celebrate after winning, and while he originally denied them by yelling no, now he's Bryan yelling no all over again. Soon, Daniel Bryan finally found common ground with the WWE soon. Universe. Soon, the yes movement to combat the authority. Even though he said yes, I don't wait to the ring. But now he's saying yes in an evil way. Like, will you cheat? Yes. Do you hate the fans? Yes. He's in control. Oh, no. Fan and shit to the back of the head of a man with an injured head. Oh, I'm no stamina, says Christian. Christian's in trouble. Get that mess out my face. I need to see the button. Brian over the top. I need to see buttons. Malik. Like is that Malik? Probably. <laughs> I like that statement. Malik. 
Is that Malik? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The crowd yes, knows it's Malik. Right now. This is, it's going to be hard to rebound from that one. Game, set, match. This one is over. Nice counter by Christian. Like so what? Likes a like collar greens? Oh. I prefer Christian likes a collar greens. Too quick for him there. Oh no. Kick, 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 kick. Both these men like kicking shit. Kicking it was to Christians. Missing an elbow drop. Hearing two Byron Saxons is depressing. Christian just too quick. Christian going high rest. Christian. Christian, this is gonna Frog be splash. Brian got his knees up last fucking second. Not even a last second rig uh -oh, No, Brian a last fucking no. He's gonna make Christian tap out. Got the what a comeback. We've got a new beatdown world champion. He did. The At the same time, he's a WWE champion. He's a beatdown world champion. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. If you want to change your batteries before the main event. All right. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. And oh. <laughs> what a statement to be heard. Well, I'm not taking it back. People in Denver are... Let's look at the world champions celebrate. Oh, quick, quick, quick. We had to cut the stream fast. Daniel Bryan, the new champion. We are down to the main event. You've been doing good as him, so you can be Angle. Elias. Elias is warming up the crowd for the main event. I got a lot of attires. He wore a lot. He wore a lot. Huh. This this match in particular has happened before. Yeah. I don't know why. You know what the fans are gonna be yelling on this match? Boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're the first. Where the first is Brett's like four out of ten. Let's see. On oh, this talk I gotta Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kaufman's, Kaufman's, Kurt Angle 06, I almost said Kaufman's Angle 06 versus Randy Orton in a match that's sure to be something. This is the 13th title match of the night. Um, uh, this is the map. 18 champions. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Yeah. I like how Matt described all the features. I 
I like the person with Breaking Benjamin sung him to the ring. Oh, no, it's Booker. The wrestling machine, one of the all-time greats, Kurt Angle. Let's not yep. forget the impact he's made as the general yep. manager of the flagship show of WWE. He made Booker T tap out. For bringing Rowdy Ronda Rousey to Monday Night Raw. Well, let's not forget my personal favorite moment of Kurtz as general manager reconnecting with his. Remember, Ari the Ari is one of those competitors. Better than Christian, that, who just became one and one. Kurt Angle still finds a time to compete and be on top of his game. No. Daniel was also one and all. Rudy Orton. <laughs> He's looking at like what? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Kurt's been on a tear recently. He said, ain't no spine buster putting me down. Everyone's like, what are you going on about? And he's like, ain't no spine buster putting me down. And I hope it's the end. Just the, that finishes the Randy him. Orton began his career by being known as the legend killer. Eight. Randy Orton is now. <laughs> There's really another choice. A legend. Either nine champions retain or five titles are changed. They talk to me. Yeah. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to like Randy, Randy Orton has, this has is been like Randy Orton's just sung it. He has done that in a major way, a thirteen yep. time. World champion. <laughs> Never more to pass aside. Never more is you and I. Even through the darkest. It's Cena. He's like, yeah, you guys. <laughs> it's me, John Cena. I'm here to suck some cock. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Why is the NXT title made it in the show? Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200. Brad's already getting creation back. Kurt Angle. Water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. Introducing the champion from Ooh. St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the We don't know any of the of Brad show yet. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. <laughs> Randy, I'm going to talk about the title at least. Christian, I'll do something with the title. Undertaker. Don't change that dial. Yeah, just be like, I hate it here. Randall Russian. Russian oh, How dare you talk about my grandfather that way? But Ray had to scare him. Yeah, now he's on beat down. Taz Plex. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. He's saying that's now it. that got those shoulders on the mat. 
And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Just a jarring blow to the jaw. Vicious assault. This, after this match, we're actually for once going to get through the build and all of the people. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even start off at the pay-per-view. Vicious slam. Oh, man. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. So much on the line here in the match for him. This match is so Good. contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to set that wasn't in the black the, the black binder. <laughs> Ran about three or four years. And there's his speed paying off. <laughs> his shoulders are down. And Orton kicks out. Still too fresh. Ref! Ref! What's Ref, he doing? talk to me! What do you mean it wasn't three? He's just like, Ref, what do you mean it wasn't three? Look at the torque. He's zeroing in on the neck. Well, he's going to twerk, ladies and gentlemen. Showing off some of his speed right. there. That's it. No. He wants large back, but Jordan afraid to look at like a baby and say he's mine now. Yeah, he's mine. You know what you can get? You can get Kurt Angle as your new world champion. How about that, Brad? No, well, Brad's mic's turned off, so no one knows his answer for sure. Brad, the quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Close line to the end. Angle tried to run, and he took advantage of the shit, and instead he took advantage of the shit. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. He's really putting his athleticism on display here. The challenger yeah, really that killed him more than it killed Angle. Not at all how the challenger drew this one up. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just oh taking my on God. so Angle much punishment. Angle kicked him back. Over 15 years into his WWE career, there were a few firsts left for Randy Orton to conquer. But he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. <laughs> I was going to say, he might as well. Viking DDT. Viking DDT. I don't know. I know that when uh, Maven dove off the top, off the middle rope and hit his Michael spinning Randy DDT, it's called a Halo DDT. I hate you. Nah, you just talk bad about my boy. You just talk. You just talk bad about my boy Maven. I was hoping you just go Spike DDT. As his body is driven to the mat. Yeah. Amazing. Tommaso Ciampa. Orton looking for something big. Uh -oh. That's the move we were talking about. Good night. That might have done it, Cole. <laughs> to one person. So you did a double spike DGT on them. Oh. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. No, you don't. He's positioned up on You're a racist. Muscle. I would not want to be him right now. He does, but that's probably his other move. Someone's here. Ooh, what an uppercut. That's it, we're going home. <laughs> we're sending this home.
Oh, 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 oh God! I wasn't actually ready for that. Now let's take a look back at these I guys. I wasn't ready. Action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Yes. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. He just out wrestles him. He's like, Randy, no. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion, Kurt Angle. What a shot! We have a new champion, the Angle Kurt Predator. Be a heel. Yeah. Title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. The punch lands. Heels, we're all faces. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Get out of my ring, you piece of trash. Ref hitting the people's elbow. Kurt Angle hits it on the mark. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Tap or snap? Oh my god! <laughs> or just down there, like what? Great, another main event where another legend. Well, thanks to...